Hey, what's up guys, my name is Nort, and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto 5 content, but today I'm going to be talking about an amazing easter egg in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now this easter egg features the boat at the main start of the campaign in Grand Theft Auto 4, in which Nico and all of those awesome characters arrive in. Now, this boat on Grand Theft Auto 4 did have a few changes as you can see here, but the whole boat itself is very similar, and they've actually incorporated similar names towards it. Now, I will be showing clips from both Grand Theft Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5 in this video, so I hope you enjoy. Now first off, this video is called the Octopus, which if we go back into Grand Theft Auto 4, the boat is actually called the Platypus, which is one direct link between the boats. Now this itself just shows that this boat is meant to be here in relation to Grand Theft Auto 4, and it's not just a coincidence. And as we go down the boat itself, everything looks so alike, there may be one or two antennas just out of place, however the whole docks itself, what I'm walking on now, that runway bit, is where you drive away in the car with Romans. So, this whole almost impression of docks it does relate to Grand Theft Auto 4 in a way. Now, I know this easter egg looks very obvious, however, I haven't really seen it around YouTube until my boy Dynasty, he actually uploaded a video on it, and I'm not saying he found it, but he was the guy who told me about it, so if you want to go check him out, then that would be awesome. But, this boat itself, you can go in it, you can go and climb around it, you can go and explore, and it's even got like lifeboats on the side, just like the old boat you saw in Grand Theft Auto 4, and all the features on it are very alike. Now guys, if you do have any Easter eggs, don't forget to comment them in the comment section below, because that would be absolutely amazing to see other Easter eggs found by the community which haven't really been exposed, and uh, it, would just, it would just be great to explore the game a little bit more. But like we see guys, there are going to be Easter eggs every single place or corner in Grand Theft Auto 5. It just depends on how we get them and how we find them kind of thing, so it's going to be great to see how many Easter eggs there will be in the game. I really don't think we found that many, to be honest. I think that there's only a minor amount of Easter eggs actually exposed. But this Easter egg itself is very cool, and I do love it, because you can actually go and explore on it, and it's a massive Easter egg, so it's not just like a big piece of text or whatever. It's a whole boat, and you can go and walk around and explore, maybe get a team deathmatch on it or something. You know, just something awesome like that. To be honest with you guys, I'm not, I'm not too sure why a lot of people haven't really found the link relating these two boats together. Um, but, you know, that's just how it is. Now, also, if you do look on the back of the boat, it does say Liberty City as well, which does uh, relate that this boat has come from Liberty City. And there was that plot twist at the end of uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, where the boat went missing for a while. So, I'm not saying that this boat is the exact same one from Grand Theft Auto 4. However, I believe it's like a twin sister boat or something. Um, something which relates to the boat in Grand Theft Auto 4. But of course, guys, it's Grand Theft Auto 5. We're not going to be expecting any links in this in the future. I really couldn't imagine GTA 6 just talking about all these amazing Easter eggs which link up games. This is just one cool thing we can see in the game, and I do absolutely love it. Now, we'll be getting some uh, nicer angles of this, uh, like I say. I'm going to get some helicopters going. I'm going to go into Grand Theft Auto 4, and you guys can see the relation yourself. But yeah, there's going to be one or two differences, guys. That's just how it is. They're not going to put the whole boat in here. Uh, but even size-wise and quantity size, everything here is exactly, you know, exactly the same. And everything's got the same color and stuff. It's just awesome. Now, I'm not too sure if you can actually get inside the boat itself. Um, like, actually get in the cabins and stuff. I'm not too sure about that. I'm sure someone one day will find a wall breach to get inside cabins and everything. Uh, but to be honest with you guys, everything inside the boat is just going to be see-through and there's going to be no texture or anything. So, um, I couldn't imagine seeing anything very exciting around here. But, as you can see here, we're just going to get off the boat. Even that massive bit at the front of it says the octopus. And you will see this massive bit in relation to GTA 4 later on in the video. Um, but, yeah, one thing I like about this is the fact it's called the octopus because, of course, the one in Grand Theft Auto 4 was called the platypus. And um, it's just one amazing connection that you wouldn't really expect, but then you kind of would expect because it seems like a name you could very much kind of like bend around a little bit. But this is also giving me, give me like a little idea kind of thing where we can actually predict Easter eggs by looking at names and names which could relate to other names very easily. So, for example, if we went on Grand Theft Auto 4 and looked at this boat and it, it was called the platypus, we could kind of imagine that they could make another boat called any other thing in that like family of uh, animals. So, I don't know. Uh, it just seems like a really cool idea uh, of how they actually twisted their words. It's kind of thing like platypus and octopus. So, maybe we could find some future Easter eggs by uh, looking at names in the uh, game right now. So, let me know in the comment section below if you do think of any future Easter eggs which could easily be modified or put in GTA 6 in the very near future. But, that, guys, that's a whole new story. I'm not even going to go into that. It's too long to talk about. As you can see here from uh, the helicopter's view, I know it's from a helicopter, guys, and it's really hard to try and camera from a helicopter. Uh, but you can see here the boat looks exactly the same, including the runway like I was talking about earlier. Because that runway, even the docking part on the runway is uh, actually shown in Grand Theft Auto 4, which is crazy. So this whole site is from Grand Theft Auto 4, 
and it's just amazing. And like like I was talking to you before, the boat went missing at the end of Grand Theft Auto 4, so maybe it could have just docked up here as twin sisters boat or something. But here we go, guys. Grand Theft Auto 4. Here is the boat at the start of the campaign. And uh, as you can see here, it looks very, very alike in size, shape, diameter, whatever you want to say, guys. Everything looks so alike. Now, I didn't come here at night time, unfortunately, so I'm not too sure if there were lights going. If we go all the way to the back of it, we notice, there it is, guys, the platypus. <laughs> so, it's crazy, guys. Um, this, this whole boat and runway in sight is just crazy. Even if we drive up, as you can see here, the runway relates exactly the same, even with the dockings and everything. Of course, one or two things are going to be out of size and stuff. Uh, which is just going to be how it's going to be, guys. I mean, it's just how, how it's going to be. They're not going to put it on ideal. Like, they're not going to put it in all, like, exactly the same and stuff. Uh, but, you know, I think it's a really cool Easter egg. And it, if you go to the start of the campaign, you can't explore all the way to the end of the boat unless you actually go in free mode. Uh, but I'm just going to explore the boat while I'm in campaign as much as I can before I get pulled back to the car. Um, and, yeah, like, like on Grand Theft Auto V, you can go back onto this boat and you can go and explore it. But I recommend going in free room to get a proper explorer on this so you can see exactly what's uh, the same. As you can see here, everything's the same color, it's even got the same textures and stuff. There may be one or two boxes on here, which, you know, that's just inevitable. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Nort. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more Grand Theft Auto content. Comment what you liked about this video and what you would like if you want more Easter eggs and everything. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you all next time.